Today, we are launching a campaign called He for She. I am reaching out to you because we need your help. We want to end gender inequality. And to do this, we need everyone involved. Inequality of opportunity that is present is probably one of the most harmful things in our society. And I think um, as a woman, that is probably the hardest thing to get over. This is why we have to do this from our point of view, from our perspective. If we don't change it, the attitude, then it's never going to change. Understand that it's not always speaking out for women, but with women, alongside women, because we don't want to reinforce that dominance. I'm a he for she because I have an awareness. I can't let my daughters or my wife suffer because I didn't do my job. It starts with me. Really put yourself in somebody's shoes and say, hey, if this was my mother, if this was my sister, if this was my daughter, would I like the way she's being treated? Am I setting the right example for other young men? If having the discussion about this topic, like that's something that we bring back like to our neighborhoods, to our communities, to our families, because women are by right, like the pillars of our community. Like there's no, there are no men of the women. I'm a he for she for every single survivor that I've ever met so that they can have even the slightest hope that, you know, a world where these conversations are not needed is, you know, attainable. I am a he for she. I am a he for she. I am a he for she. We are he for she. For the record, feminism by definition is the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities. It is the theory of the political, economic, and social equality of the sexes. I started questioning gender-based assumptions a long time ago. When I was eight, I was confused at being called bossy because I wanted to direct the plays that we would put on for our parents. But the boys were not. This is Ban Bossy, take one. Pushy. Stubborn. Stubborn. Pushy. Pushy. Stubborn. Stubborn. Bossy. 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 When I was growing up, I was called bossy. I think the word bossy is just a squasher. Being labeled something matters. By middle school, girls are less interested in leadership than boys. And that's because they worry about being called bossy. We need to tell them it's OK to be ambitious. We need to help them lean in. Words matter. Let's just ban the word bossy. And encourage girls to lead. To be strong and be ambitious. Listen to your own voice. There are no limits. Dare to be you. You can change the world. Let's ban bossy. Be brave. Be you. Ban bossy. Join us to ban bossy. I'm not bossy. I'm the boss. When at 14, I started to be sexualized by certain elements of the media. When at 15, my girlfriends started dropping out of their beloved sports teams because they didn't want to appear muscly. When at 18, my male friends were unable to express their feelings. Hi, Erin. Hi. Okay, so I'm gonna just give you some actions to do. I just do the first thing that comes to mind. Show me what it looks like to run like a girl. Oh my God. Show me what it looks like to fight like a girl. <laughs> now throw like a girl. Aw. My name is Dakota and I'm 10 years old. Show me what it looks like to run like a girl. Throw like a girl. Fight like a girl. What does it mean to you when I say run like a girl? It means run fast as you can. So do you think you just insulted your sister? No, 
I mean, yeah, insulted girls, but not my sister. Is like a girl a good thing? Actually, I don't know what it really, if it's a bad thing or a good thing. It sounds like a bad thing. It sounds like you're trying to humiliate someone. And when somebody says you hit like a girl, it's like, well, what does that mean? Because they think they're a strong person. It's kind of like telling them that they're weak and they're not as good as them. And what advice do you have to young girls who are told they run like a girl, kick like a girl, hit like a girl, swing like a girl? Keep doing it because it's working. If somebody else says that running like a girl or kicking like a girl or shooting like a girl is something that you shouldn't be doing, that's their problem. Because if you're still scoring and you're still getting to the ball on time and you're still being first, you're doing it right. It doesn't matter what they say. I mean, yes, I kick like a girl and I swim like a girl and I walk like a girl and I wake up in the morning like a girl because I am a girl. And that's not something that I should be ashamed of. So I'm gonna do it anyway. That's what they should do. If I asked you to, to run like a girl now, would you do it differently? I would run like myself. Would you like a chance to redo it? Yeah. Both men and women should feel free to be sensitive. Both men and women should feel free to be strong. It is time that we all perceive gender on a spectrum instead of two sets of opposing ideals. Euh, les trucs de filles, c'est plutôt rose, plutôt vive, alors que les trucs de garçons, c'est plutôt bleu. Les garçons, ils savent pas comment on s'occupe des bébés. Les garçons, c'est par exemple, on des figurines de super-héros. Un château, il, il est rose, et ben c'est pour les filles. Oh, wow. 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 O